Hello guys, thank you for joining us for another episode of Aggressive Intelligence. Today we'll be covering the story of Christina Mae Jenkins, the woman who invented the hair wig. So stick around to the very end so you can catch the full episode. We enjoy having the option to instantly alter our appearance. Most women's fantasy is to transition from a short, curly style to a long, wavy, seductive style all in one day. It's not an exaggeration to say that Christina Jenkins' invention of the hair weave, and yes, she spelled it W-E-E-V-E instead of W-E-A-V-E like we do today, also known as the sewing weave, has had a great impact in hairstyling and has changed women's lives for the better, especially during a time when ladies use grips and pins to secure weaves in their hair. This is the story of Christina Mae Jenkins. So let's sit back, relax, and get into it. On Christmas Day in 1920, Christina Mae Jenkins was born. She was born in Zillplatt, Louisiana. While there are few details about her early years, what is known is that in 1943, when women rarely studied at the college level, she earned a science degree from Leland College, which is close to Baton Rouge. She married Herman Duke Jenkins, a well-known jazz musician in Cleveland the same year. The couple had one daughter together named Sheila. Christina started researching methods to hold wigs and hair pieces in place without the use of heat or chemicals in 1949 while working for a wig maker in Chicago because wigs frequently fell off the client's heads. At the time, women were pinning weaves to their hair with grips and pins, which appeared bulky and artificial and were prone to sliding. This progressed into looking at various techniques for stitching switches of hair into women's natural hair. Christina decided to sew the hair onto the client's scalp using cornrows as a foundation by attaching the hair to a net first. She called the method hair weave. Three cords and a tool known as a weaving frame, which produced a natural weft to connect the synthetic hair and alter the natural hair were a part of Christina's innovative new method. In terms of one's self-expression, her innovation changed the game. Christina's innovative hairstyle offered women, particularly African-American women, the flexibility to select from a variety of hairstyles. On May 4, 1951, Christina filed for a patent for her invention and began teaching her method all over the globe. In 1952, she was granted patent number 262166. In the patent, her technique is described as interweaving strands of live hair and strands of commercial hair with cord-like material to permanently join the strands thereto was mentioned. Christina's invention was approved in 1952, but it was challenged in court and revoked in 1965. Okay guys, if you like this content and you wanna see more, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get back to it. Christina's claim to have invented the hair weave was challenged by researchers who say that a similar method was used as far back as ancient Egypt. It was proposed that wearing wigs in ancient Egypt and Rome served as significant societal indicators of attractiveness, health, and status, and that the wish to have a complete head of hair or wear a different hairstyle is not just a modern phenomenon. The evidence also suggested that basic sewing weaves were worn in ancient Egypt around 1300 BC in addition to wigs indicating that our prehistoric ancestors valued having their hair pieces stay in position just as we do today. When famous black women like Janet Jackson adopted synthetic hair extensions in the 1980s, 1990s, and 2000s, the appeal of weaves skyrocketed. As weaves became even more popular, they contributed to the beginning of a national conversation about ethnic authenticity and dominant definitions of beauty. Christina relocated to Malvern, Ohio, which is close to Canton, 
where she continued to create what she termed the hair weaving technique and researched the lengthening and body enhancing effects of blending synthetic hair with natural hair. Christina started a training program and began instructing other cosmetologists and hairdressers in the hair weave technique. She then traveled throughout Europe sharing her groundbreaking technique. In Cleveland, Ohio, she established and operated her own Christina's Hair Weave Penthouse Salon until 1993. Christina provided the cosmetologists she taught with franchising opportunities to apply the method. However, a large number of students failed to meet their financial responsibilities under the franchise arrangement. Christina was unable to maintain authority over her invention as a consequence, and her personal finances began to suffer. She made an effort to sue these people in court. However, Christina was unable to operate the company further because she lacked the funds necessary to do so. The weave, microweave, or sewing weave is the name given to this method after years of experimentation and revision. Weaves are not as chunky today as in earlier years. Today, lustrous weaves with volume last and are made with high quality hair and are brought from different areas of the globe. Currently, the market for hair extensions is worth $1 billion. On November 3rd, 2003, at the age of 82, Christina M. Jenkins passed away. The late Ohio U.S. Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs Jones commended Christina for her creation, labeling her a pioneer in the field of cosmetology and her invention of the hair weave, a revolutionary contribution that has helped boost the self-esteem of men and women across the world. That's all for Aggressive Intelligence. I hope you enjoyed the story on Christina Mae Jenkins. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Oh, 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 check, now we